My things are packed. I really don't want to leave this place. But it's time to say goodbye and i'm not saying goodbye to the whole desert i'm actually still around because gondwana lodges they own a lot of lodges in this vicinity and they are telling me that they've seen that i'm really enjoying myself in here and they feel like i've not seen anything yet so they are telling me that i got one more night in um this area they want me to sleep in another lodge so i'm just going to check it out i think I, oh, oh god I really love this place and I don't want to leave but anyway come along with me let me go check out the other lodge Why have you been playing this song the whole time? Eh? Yeah, that one has it's our Christmas song when you're having beers. <laughs> yeah. So you have to play when you have enough beers for the day. Wow. If you die, there's no beer, eh? In heaven, eh? There's no beer. This guy has been playing the song since. Who is the artist? Tate Buti. Tate Buti. He's a Namibian artist, eh? Yeah, he's a Namibian artist. Wow. Shout out to Tate Buti, man, for the beer song. Because this guy is the biggest fan of you, man. He's been playing this song since I came here. Every day. In heaven, there is nothing. <laughs> there is no beer. That's why we are drinking here. Yeah. That's no beer, man. <laughs> That's a funny song. So on my way to my final destination, we decided to stop by at one of Gondwana Lodges, which is Namib Desert Lodge. This is actually their first ever lodge in this area. And um, yeah, I, I think so too, because you see trees, it's more greenery than all the Gondwana Lodges that I've seen. So I guess uh, with time to come, because the one that I was staying is it's a bit new. So I believe that with time to come, they're gonna be planting more trees in the other lodges. Too. But hey, this place looks so green. Very refreshing, even though it's so hot, but here it's not hot at all. So, yeah, if you don't want to stay in uh, Desert Grace, you can actually stay in here. So, we are about to go to um, Desert Whisper, but apparently, they changed the car into a smaller size. Why? Why we are using a smaller car? So it's because the Whisper is just only for two people. So. So it's only for two people and then the car that we have there is a 4x4 four four, so it can go up there in the rocky area. I don't understand, only two people? Yeah, it's only for two people. So I mean like a couple, oh. like girlfriends, uh, okay. boyfriend. Okay. Because most of people that they come there, they come like for proposal, oh. honeymoon, and then wedding anniversary. So am I alone, man? <laughs> <laughs> that is very, even me, I'm surprised now. <laughs> Even you are surprised that I'm alone, eh? Yeah, because you are alone. <laughs> ah, okay, you know what? We need to go check it out. One time out of ten, two times want to be mine. We just can't pretend. This love thing can take time. Three times then I'm in. I heard through the grapevines. You miss in a playtime, girl. Beauty make them bow down. I need that body right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good love will never die down. Together we can fly now. So, baby, don't you ever be afraid of falling in love with me? 
Let me be your parachute Parachute One time out of ten Four times on the state lines We fly till the end My hands on your waistline Sky high, feel the wind Five times want to be mine This love thing can take time yeah. So we're finally in Desert Whisper Yes, we're finally here and then what we have here, so let me welcome you to Desert Whisper. Thank you. And then here we have a small swimming pool with a depth of 1.3 meters, so not diving all the way in the pool. And then also there we have a box there with some refreshments. While we are maybe taking a swim, you can also have some refreshment from the fridge also. Wow. Okay. And then from now we will go this way to the main building. Then I will tell you everything that we have in there. You can't believe this. So this is just for two people. That's yes. it. Is yeah. this the only building you got here? Yeah, so we only have one building here. Only one? The only one. For husband and wife, girlfriend and boyfriend, yeah. fiance and fiance. Yes. Oh my god, why did I come alone, man? <laughs> ah no, this is this is this is not good, Gondwana. This is not cool, man. At least uh, allow me to come with my wife, man. Let's fly, let's fly, let's fly. You and I you all won't believe that this place actually exists. I mean, when I got in here, I was blown away and I want to blow your mind right now. Just come along. I've seen so many resorts and lodges in Africa, but I would say that this is one of the most insane lodges I've ever come across. Listen, I can't believe that I'm gonna have honeymoon in Namibia without my wife. I need to sue Gondwana for doing this to me. How can I sleep all alone in a place like this? I mean, I guess I'll be having fun with the pillows, but listen, I feel like Desert Whisper is an intimate, luxurious desert getaway. And I know the name Whisper because when you come with your loved one, listen, we don't shout. You whisper into your lover's ears and things begin to happen. If you're 18 years, please don't watch this video because this is a perfect place to have a new baby, man. So that's why I'm saying that it's a perfect place for honeymoon. I mean, they want you to enjoy the boundless expanse of the Namib Desert extending to the distance horizon. Oh my goodness, the people behind this are super genius. Creatively constructed with the sublime of desert views. I mean, if you are in here, all you see is desert view. You immerse yourself in the desert view with your loved one. And I can't believe that. I was here alone. <laughs> Whoever goes for honeymoon alone, it's only Maya. Are you getting married anytime soon? Or you're already married but you thought that your honeymoon was not the best? Believe me or not, this is a perfect honeymoon destination. Believe me, when you take your wife here, she will love you over and over again. I mean, the, the love will rekindle. This is what Desert Whisper will do to your relationship. <laughs> Last night, I had a private chef who, who came to cook for me and she was like, what do you want to eat? So this was actually my dessert, even though I did not even touch it because 
I was overwhelmed with um, the food that I was eating in here. Most of you were saying that, how am I gonna survive? Yo, there's so much food, even if I tend to stay here for 10 days. I got my fruit, my snacks, still snacks. I got coffee, I got tea. I can make my own coffee right here. Listen, if I want to toast bread, I got my bread to toast. I want to add some flavor. Right. But in case if you want to cook for yourself, you still got this to cook for yourself. You got all the utensils in there. Who came up with this concept, man? I think join me. Let's give a big round of applause to Gondwana Collection. Wow, just wow, this is insane bro, like waking up from a luxury hidden retreat place like this. And this is me, living my best life in Namibia. And you also should visit Namibia so that you can live way better than how I live when I was in Namibia. Listen, this country got a lot of hidden game. I feel like this country is on top. I feel like this country is the most underrated country in the whole world. Last time I came, I said Africa, but I think this time around, it's the entire world, man. You gotta love Namibia. You gotta come explore Namibia. And believe me or not, they will never disappoint you. Fall in love with me. Let me be your parachute, parachute.